All right guys, welcome back to the YouTube video. And this video will be about how to two-step on your K-Pro um, V4 or the V3. Pretty sure they're all the same or literally any Honda uh, software like a Fast Pro or K-Pro or S300. Um, so I'll be demonstrating how to two-step on your Honda Civic because I mean, who doesn't love two-step? Just FYI, be aware, um, this does washes your cylinder walls just because how much fuel is dumping in there. But um, I say do this at your own risk. And I wouldn't like uh, do it all the time because it does washes your cylinder walls and it does break down your oil pretty decently depending on how much fuel you add on top and how much um, two-step you do. I learned from my mistake on my first motor because I did too much two-step and my oil broke down so fast that um, I spun a rod bearing so I learned not to do two-step a lot so anyways um, this video I'm just me showing you how to do your two-step how to set it how to set it in your rev limits and yeah so I'm gonna let this load in and show you how it is so what you want to do is go to K-Pro open up your K-Pro and let it load and let it pop up um, and then after that uh, I'll show you guys how to get on so once well, I already loaded so anyways once you get on years ago I'm gonna just load up the tune that I was on so which is this I do have my pops and bangs for this tune but I do not have a setup right now don't ask why I'll show that in a different video what you want to do is you want to go to parameters after that you would want to go into your rev limits once you go into rev limits you will press enable launch control so when you press your enable launch control it will enable it for me i have it set at 6000 which is your fuel ignition retard activation so this right here will be your activation like on oh no, it's probably not i am right next to right next to the highway so this right here will be your activation so like when your two-step wants to activate and how much this is when the ignition timing will retard and also how much fuel it will start adding the second part below that your launch rpm limiter this is your max so let's say i have it set like how it is now six thousand as a start and then 62 as a max so it will go start at six thousand and then it'll go up between 200 RPMs. I'd rather do it between 100 to 200 RPM difference so that you can have like that nice wah, pow, 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 and then have the flame, 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 flame. When you do this, you also have to check your degrees. So you have to go to your tables. You have to set where you want it. You go to your ignition and then it'll show your degrees. You can always play with these. Um, we'll figure out later on a video on that. After that, so you have your launch RPM limiter. So let's say 6,000. You rev it up 6,000 RPMs. Like I rev it up to about 6,000. So rev to 6,000. And then about 62, it's when the max. So it'll go 6,000, activate it, and it'll, it'll bang off of 62, 600. 62, or 62, 6,000. 62, 6,000. It'll bang back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that is how your two set works. Next is your speed. You want to do your speed. So I usually do my 20 so that when I'm rolling around 20 i can you can set it like like let's say if i want to do this and i can set it to like like five miles an hour or I can set it to like fit 10 15 miles an hour i usually set it between 20 miles an hour because whenever i do my actual two-step launch like uh like launch control whenever i do my launch uh my rpms goes way past 20 so i mean it's fine it's you have to move more than 20 miles an hour if you're below 20 miles an hour it will kick on and you can rev it out and only do your max um, two-step. So where that's where it is. Next is your fuel enrichment. I think, hope I'm saying that right. Um, that right there is how much fuel you want on top of what the injectors are shooting at for, I believe, how much they are. Because I am not quite sure on how much they're shooting but i myself i have a set of 410 cc injectors what they gotta do 410 cc injectors so when you go back to your rev limits this right here will show and then yeah so 800 800 units i usually have mine between 500 to 800 you could play around with it of how much 
big flames you want and how much small flames you want. I usually I do 800 because that's a lot of fuel I'm burning. That's a lot of fuel dumping to the exhaust. And you can really smell it when you do your two-step. You can see like smoke coming out because that's literally just unburnt fuel. But I mean, more you do, the more flames you'll get just depending on how you actually tune your two-step. You can play around with this too as you do your two-step. Might take a while. And then next is your six uh, is your ignition ignition retard so retard ignition that right there you will go to your tables once you go to tables you go to your ignition you go to your high ignition i believe that's my low this is my high so you'll find where you want to do your two steps so full throttle i mean you can do it like like right here but like between five and six is what you're doing so this is why i have mine so this is where it's at like yeah you're 30 37 36 i usually do double i mean is what i did i did double on mine but you could literally just play around with it i have mine at 60 degrees just because it's i mean it's not bad but it adds uh, ignition retard to the car so once you do all that that's 60 degrees once you do all of this that's just all need and then when you do your launch control i have mine on always on you could change it to like a vtech pressure switch brake switch the service connector switch which i don't know why or the power steering or you could just have it off but you have it off you will not have two step you have to put it on always on i leave mine always on or you could do invert clutch switch which is that one i believe on the flash pros or something like that they're on the uh, clutch switch I am not sure. Might have to double check that. But uh, let's not check that. Might check that. So once you get all of this on, then you are basically ready. You can just load this up into the car. And when you load up to the car, you can um, do two steps. So I will load this into the car. And then once I load this the car, I can show you guys how my two step is. First off, we're going to do 6100 to show you guys what 6100 does. And then once you do that, you would just press the arrow pointing up and it, it will upload to the car. So just let this upload to the car and then um, I'll show you guys the two-step on how I have mine set at. You can always play with this. They're really different. Every motor is different. Every car is different. Um, I will show you guys a video on a K-Tuner system or k tuner software how to do it because i did it on a tension on my buddy's car and his car splits flames on two-step so maybe a different video i'll show you guys how to do that in a different video i'll show you guys how to do um your uh pops and bang tune but anyways we're almost done with this i'll show you guys a video so here we go now <laughs> As in those videos you just saw so the first one was 6100 rpms and the second one was 6200 rpms as you can tell it's a little bit different the 6200 rpms didn't really want to activate just because um the ignition retard i had it on how it was it was uh 6200 so that one didn't really activate and do the two step the pow 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 pow, pow. the 6100 really worked it's just that in the video that i had to cut it short because uh the phone fell it's very windy this is a big old storm coming in in the uh midwest missouri so anyways um hope you guys find this video helpful if you have any questions please let me know i'll answer them in the description um you guys have any questions uh you can literally comment down below or, or anything and then i'll find time to reply back to you guys hopefully i can don't mind why the instagram full is hot because the other car is not moving but anyways when i start moving that thing will drop back down but anyways that's the car that's how to two-step on hyundai uh i have flash pro right here which is the exact same thing so yes so anyways this will be the end of the video i hope you guys like uh, the video on how to tease up your car 
uh, I appreciate you guys watching the videos a lot and it really means a lot um, hope you guys find the video entertaining and hope it works for you guys subscribe hit the bell icon leave a like comment down below what you guys think and check out my latest two videos and yeah see you guys later peace out